What's up, guys? Cool Kid Plays here. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so, um, I know there isn't an intro or anything, but, like, uh, I'm kind of tired at the time of recording this. I just got home from football practice. So, uh, I'm gonna try to get this over pretty quickly, but this is at least gonna be ten minutes long. Because this video is pretty, pretty important. Um, so first... Uh, we need to get right into it, actually. So, about Cool Kid. Y'all know who Cool Kid is. It's the gorilla on the screen right now. My character, if you would. Um, he has glasses now, but I don't draw them on him because it's, like, not very Sigma. It's not very Sigma. Anyway, um, basically... He, you, you've seen some of his, like, forms and stuff in the corruption videos, but I'm gonna put a few up on screen now. Anyway, okay, so, <clears throat> basically, Cool Kid didn't always have ice powers, and we're gonna be getting deep into his lore today. So, grab some popcorn, grab a drink, soda, or water, or juice, if you're a four-year-old. Anyway, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm not mean. If you drink juice, that's chill. Um, anyway. Um, so basically, there was this tribe called the Nature Tribe. They had a temple known as the Jungle Temple. The Jungle Temple had held a very, very important artifact that uh, was said to have held a lot of power. Unbelievable amount of power, right? Not enough to destroy an, the island that they were on or anything, the floating island, because that's, like, part of the whole story. Anyway, um, but it was really powerful. They discovered an ice artifact in the uh, mountains, and so a tr they sent part of the tribe out to the mountains to live there, and to uh, and to like protect the ice stick, like how they did the nature stick. That ended up becoming the ice tribe, the tribe that Cool Kid is from. Cool Kid was um, born um, like later on into the tribe. In the modern times of the tribe. Um, cool Kid. He is 13 in the lore. And, uh, yeah. So, he was actually 11 when, all, when this part was happening, though. So, yeah, they were all chill. But while Cool Kid wasn't born yet, um... Cool Kid's dad had this friend, right? And he was obsessed with the power of the stick. Like, he wanted to have that power. He And he, he wanted it for bad motives. He wanted it so he could take control. But Cool Kid's dad uh, d was like, Nuh-uh, nope, get out. And so they had a vote. And um, the bad guy was kicked out of the Ice Tribe. And then he discovers another stick known as the magma stick. Okay. And they go and and he goes and he meets people along the way. And he makes a new tribe called the magma tribe. So now there are three tribes. Nature tribe, aka forest tribe. Ice tribe. Magma tribe. Okay. So. Mm. Anyway. And so... The Ice Tribe was in at war with the Magma Tribe, but uh, Cool Kid really just brushed it off. He was 11 at this time now, because he had been born. Um, he wasn't born at the age of 11, just getting that out of the way real quick. I'm saying that it's time skip 11 years from then. Anyway, and so they're at war, and a, the tribe comes busting into the mountains, and they start... To unalive the ice tribe. Like, they're knocking gorillas down. One, 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 one. Like that. And 
they end up unaliving most of the tribe. And so, Cool Kid and his mom, his dad now, you know, uh, go hide in the temple where the ice stick is. And, um, and so they're there. But the magma guy breaks into the temple, uh, trying to get the ice stick. But, <clears throat> Cool Kid's mom decides to fight back. Ultimately ending in her unalivement. Cool Kid, who had watched the whole thing, stumbled back, bumped into the ice stick, and fused with it. It disappeared into his back. And and then ice, like ice um, horns, or whatever you want to call them, ice spikes I call them, that's what I call them at least, uh, grow out of his arms, and he fights off the magma dude. Uh, ultimately making him fuse one of his children with the magma stick. And Cool Kid knows that this is bad, so he flees the mountains. Rest in peace, the Ice Tribe, by the way. Been long gone. And goes to the Nature Tribe to find it burnt to a crisp by the Magma Tribe. They had just raided the place. The only person that was left or the only gorilla, was one like Cool Kid. He had fused with the nature stick and fought off the Magma King. <clears throat> they ended up becoming friends, and then they sent... And then they heard a fusion sound. One that sends a shockwave throughout the floating island. It happened to Cool Kid, and it happened to the nature uh, kid. <clears throat> A.K.A. Naturo. Naturo. Uh, no, it's not, it's kind of a combination of, mm, like, not your and, uh, nature. And churro. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so, not churro and cool kid, they're like, best friends. But, the magma guy ends up walking out now with powers. He walks out of a burnt tree... And he starts to fight Cool Kid and Nachiro. The Magma Kid's name... Uh, let's call him... JJ. Alright, so JJ starts shooting Cool Kid with Magma and stuff. And he's, like, using ice walls to defend himself. But... <clears throat> uh, quick thing. <clears throat> Nature is all agility. Ice is a mix between agility and strength. And um, magma is just pure strength. So, as you know, Cool Kid gets uh, like a tiny burn on his arm. It, it doesn't scar or anything. It goes away. But he flees with Nachiro and they go and they go into the city. And the magma guy leaves them alone for a few years. Uh, they end up living on the streets for a little while. Till they th th turn 13. And they get themselves a house. They were donated a house. At the age of 13. Due to the fact that they have powers. And that they've kind of helped around the city with them. Um. So. Uh, but they heard about another guy with powers. Please note. The rest of this story is not yet canon. I need Ilpa's permission to finish this. That's right. Ilpa is in the story. It is not canonical yet. I need Ilpa's permission. It is a different version of Ilpa. But then again, I still need his permission. It's his OC. Anyhow, uh, um, <clears throat> and so, basically, they meet him, and they just befriend him. But then, sirens start going off. Cool Kid wakes up. <clears throat> to find Nachiro missing and gets a video call from Nachiro, actually. Um, Nachiro's with Ilpa. Half of the city is melted and burnt. Mm -mm. Cool Kid automatically knows what's going on. So he meets Ilpa and Nachiro at the park that was now halfway burnt to find the lava guy. <clears throat> And, uh, they're like, we can resolve this with a simple, like, yap, yap, yap. This doesn't have to be this way. And then JJ 
starts slinging lava everywhere, hurting Nacho unbelievably bad. Like, he was burnt really bad. So, he kind of has, like, vines on his, um, chest. Because that's actually a bandage to him. And that's just, like, a cool kid. He uses ice to cover his wounds so they don't get infected and it counts as a sturdy bandage. Anyway. <clears throat> and then, cool kid's like, listen, there's this prophecy that <clears throat> the stakes weren't complete. And basically, you know how I was talking about the sticks earlier? The ice stick, the magma stick, and the nature stick. They were only half of the full stick. The full stick of each was um, uh, scattered across these three extra islands. And so, uh, the city gets destroyed. The island starts to sink into the water. Um, but the magma guy, aka JJ, turns it all into obsidian and freezes the island in the ground. Not freezes, but you know, like it solidifies the water on the island and it turns into obsidian rock. Meaning, like, yeah, it's technically concrete holding the island in place in the water or now in the obsidian. Anyway. Um, and then they go to the ice island first. It's an extended, amazing part of mountains. It's beautiful and all, everything. They go and they find another temple, but it's been mostly destroyed. And it's, like, covered in this, like, ancient magic symbol things. And so, they find out that there was actually an ice god that created the ice sticks. Mother Nature created the nature sticks. And... The god of war created the magma sticks. And so it was obvious now that they needed to grab this other half of the stick to unlock something from out of Cool Kid that they have never seen before. This reveal is humongous. I've been working on this for months. This form is why I never finished uh, the corrupt or, or melted or Whatever it's called. Melted ice, I think. Or corrupted ice. Like, the thing with Ilpa in it, okay? Uh, I'm putting the form up on screen now. Um, here you go.